Hi and thank you for purchasing the Virtual Studio 5 template pack. Inside you will find the projects for both After Effects CS6 as well as Premiere Pro CS6. So let's jump right into it. First download and unpack the delivery zip file and make sure you unpack all the files before opening up any project. First let's take a look at the After Effects projects. Inside the After Effects folder you will find three variations of the project blue, green and red. Let's open up the first one, double click on the AEP file. This is the structure of the template. You have the main composition, which is empty but prepared to have all the elements added to it. Don't worry, it's very easy to do. Next, inside the UChange folder, we have all the editable elements. The Elements folder contains two lower third designs, which you can duplicate if you need more, an intro for a text logo, as well as an intro for a rounded logo, and two transitions. The Scenes subfolder contains all the angle shots. Next to the shots, you will find the descriptions for each angle. The Talent Containers are meant to be used with the chroma key actor shots. The video containers are the video placeholders which appear in each scene. This is where you will drop your media. And finally, we have the Your Logo folder with the composition for a rounded logo and the composition for a text logo. Very important to keep in mind, all the composition's numbers correlate with one another. In other words, we have the talent for angle 01, we have the media container for angle 02, because angle 01 doesn't have a video container in the background, and so on. So these are all the elements, let's go ahead and create a full sequence in the main composition. First, let's take intro 01 from the elements folder and drag it into the timeline. Double click to open it and then double click on the text logo comp. You can enter your text or you can import your own logo. To do that, select File, Import, File. Choose your logo file while making sure it's in PNG, PSD or any other format with transparency. Hit OK and drag it into the timeline. Press S to bring down the scale property and adjust the size. And turn off the sample layer. Next, we'll take angle 01 and drop it into the timeline. As you can see, the length of the composition is one hour and the length of the scene is 10 minutes. You can trim the duration of the scene and let's add another angle. If you hold down the shift key while moving the layers, they will snap into position. Now let's add a transition before the first scene. We can duplicate the transition and use it again for the next scene. To do that, press Ctrl-D or Command-D on Max.
Next, let's open up the scenes. Inside the Angle 01 composition, we don't have any video placeholders, we just have the talent holder. Double click on it to open it up, or just open it from the project panel window. Place your chroma key footage inside, so I'll just import the chroma key footage. and delete or turn off the sample layer. Please make sure your footage is positioned between the guides. If needed, you can select the rectangle tool and draw a mask around your presenter footage. Inside the angle 02 composition, we also have a video container. Double click to open it up. Import your media. Drag it into the timeline and delete the sample layers. Angle 02 also has a logo placeholder and to change your logo, open up the rounded logo composition and import your file. Now let's take a look at the lower third compositions. We'll place the first one in the main composition. Double click on any text to edit it. If you need to extend the duration, just duplicate the body animation Ctrl D and reposition the layers. Extend the duration of the text layers. And finally, move the position of the fade out markers. You can also duplicate the lower third compositions, just make sure you do it in the project panel area. So with the composition selected, choose Edit Duplicate. Now let's take a look at adding background music to this project. Select File, Import, File, and choose your audio file and drag it into the timeline. Finally, let's take a look at rendering this project. Select the main composition and choose Composition, Add to Render Queue. Under Output Module, choose Format QuickTime, Format Options, Photo JPEG. You can set the quality to 95, hit OK. Remember to check the audio output box. Then click next to output tool to set the destination path of your file. Then just click render. Thank you for watching and in the next tutorial we'll take a look at how to edit the Premiere Pro version of this template.